What's going on guys? Welcome to your ninth JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called the return statement. So sometimes like before we made a function and it just did something. It either printed text out on the screen or it made a pop-up appear or you know it just did something but sometimes you want the function to return a value to you so this is especially useful whenever you're making a calculation and you pass in two numbers as a parameter for example um, 20 and 10 and you say multiply these together and it multiplies them and it returns the value to you or in other words it performs the calculation and it returns the answer to you so sometimes you can see you just need functions to do something like print out something on the screen or pop up a text box and sometimes you need it to perform a calculation and give you back the value and whenever you need the value in return we need to use something called the return statement so let's go ahead and make the most basic function we can with the most basic return function so let's go ahead and name function and let's go ahead and name this too easy because this is going to be extremely easy not even going to take any parameters and let's go ahead and just return any value let's return um, just some text game time so now whenever we call this function too easy and try to run it nothing happens because by default as you can see we didn't tell it to do anything we didn't tell it to print it out on the screen we didn't tell it to you know use it in an alert box we just said give us this value back and with that value we didn't even do anything with it so in order to use that return value you actually have to use it somehow so for example if you write document dot right and then inside here you call your function too easy what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this function right here and it's gonna say alright for this function you want me to return the text game time so whenever you give me the function I'm gonna substitute the return value which is game time so then I'm gonna print out aka document write game time so it's basically saying alright this function is basically equal to the return value so when I say document write too easy it's going to calculate this and figure that the answer is game time now this might be a little difficult to understand so what I decided to do is make a function teaching you guys how to add two numbers add one number and another number and give you you know basic addition and I know that I didn't talk to you guys about any of the math operators or how you can use algebra with you know JavaScript but it's gonna be really simple to understand a lot more simple than that example so let's go ahead and make another function and just call it add numbers and it's gonna take two parameters it's gonna take a and b and inside here let's go ahead and make another variable called C and this will just be the sum of a plus B so now if you pass it like the number 3 and 4 C would be equal to 7 because it's gonna add a and B and store it in the variable C so now what we want to do is we want to return C so now later on when we're programming and we go ahead and write add numbers let's go ahead and pass it like 3 and 6 whenever we call this nothing is gonna happen because this is just the value of 9 we didn't tell it to print out 9 on the screen we didn't tell it to print out 9 in an alert box it just is the value of 9 and it's just sitting there in our program pretty much like a waste of space so let's go ahead save this and see what happens nothing so let's go ahead and actually take this and cut it and now let's go ahead and write document dot write and inside that paste let me get rid of that semicolon and put it at the end paste that function add numbers and now it says alright the function add numbers 3 and 6 is basically equal to the value of 9 so what do you want me to do with that 9 oh you want me to write it out on the screen now I see so we go ahead and save this and refresh that is why we get the value of 9 on the screen so again a return value isn't really useful unless you do something with it and as you can see clearly in this example we called the value 3 as A and B is 6 and it said 3 plus 6 is 9 so that's why I'm going to return 9 to you so anyways the expression add numbers 3 and 6 it basically looks at this and says 9 so that's why I wrote 9 out on the screen so basically 
whenever you call a function it's basically looking at it and trying to figure out what's the return value and then takes that return value and does whatever you want to it so that is the basics of a return value again I know I didn't even teach you guys that you can add variables but hey you can whenever they're a number it adds them together so that's a little glimpse into the future but for now that's all I want to cover so thank you guys for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial probably going to be talking more about functions but for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial